Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, this was Walmart Collector Con and it didn't go well. <laughs> a lot of people were left in the lurch, including our good friend Matt Hatter, who got up at the crack of dawn to try and figure out if he could pick up any of these figures. Spoiler alert, he didn't. And a lot of people were in the same boat. It really does seem like Walmart Collector Con seems to be a bit of a dud with Master Universe Origins Collectors. But there are still a few gems out there, including some G.I. Joe finds. But the really exciting news today was on Mattel Creations and thanks to our good friend Eldor, who Master Versal Toy Hunter, who you should definitely check out on Instagram and of course a used to his YouTube channel. Some amazing figure has just been dropped and leaked. And I think you guys know that he sure is able to extend himself as far as anybody needs to. Wink. Let's take a deep dive into this, guys, and see exactly everything Motu related today because it was a crazy day for Motu reveals and leaks and disappointment for CollectorCon. Let's have a look, everybody. Well, guys, today was the launch of Walmart CollectorCon, and as we saw with so many different others, this one was pretty much a bust. There were figures which were on sale, which a lot of people have been looking for, and we even saw that Matt Hatter tried his best to pick up some of these figures and was denied. That's right, everybody. The Mad Hatter tried his best, and unfortunately, Walmart Collecticon failed a lot of people today. But if you are a G.I. Joe fan, the G.I. Joe Classified Series Night Force Jason Shockwave Faria and Night Pursuit Cycle is still available. You can pick it up right now for $54.99 on Walmart Collecticon. This to me is the epitome of a repaint, and is, as it literally has nothing new to offer in the G.I. Joe line. All the guns have been released at some point with certain figures. The cycle is literally just a ram cycle with brand new decos and brand new paint. It has Jason Faria, who's already been released in the line. Uh, the only And even that helmet, that swappable head, is just a head swap from one of the existing figures that has already been released as a army builder. So this really has nothing new to add. Even the drone is actually one of Firefly's drones. So yeah, a lot of people, I think, are going to, uh, you know, not really be too excited about this pack out. But it does have some really interesting looking colors. And if you're into it, for $54.97, uh, which is a little steep in my opinion, it's still a really great addition to the G.I. Joe line. But the figures which a lot of Masters of the Universe fans were hoping for pretty much sold out immediately as we saw with the Mad Hatter. Over on Collecticon, if you do a search for any of these Masters of the Universe figures, you will see that Krang, Mossman, Lord Grasp, and Terror are listed and it even says that you can pre-order now, but clicking on any of these links with out of stock, and that seems to be the case with each of these exclusives, they all seem to be out of stock completely, and it's kind of sad considering the fact that today's Collecticon was anticipated by many people, but the Mass Universe Origins figures, especially the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover, Turtles of Grayskull, is hot as hell. So it's not surprising that this happened today. But some really exciting news is coming on the horizon. And guys, we are in for an absolute treat. Today, Mattel dropped some interesting news on Mattel Creation, which was quietly released. And some fans with eagle eyes noticed this right away. It's not exactly on the front page. You actually do have to dig a little bit. But if you were to click on Motu Collectors here at the bottom, it brings up the Motu Collectors page where you can still see Masterverse Snout Spout, which you can buy right now. Now, mind you, Canada is still listed as it cannot be shipped to my country. This is just terrible, guys. Very terrible, but that's not what we're really looking for. Heading back to the Mattel Creations Master Universe Collectors, scrolling down just a bit, check it out, everybody. In five days, 14 hours, nine minutes, spinning secret of arriving March 21st, a powerful hero joins the Origins Collector. Come on, who else could it be? It must be the Heroic Cyclone. Oh, Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. That's right, guys. Cyclone is coming to the Masters Universe Origins Collection, and I can't wait until we see this guy showing up at our doors. Clicking on Learn More, there's not much here, but on the 21st, apparently there is also this Mattel Creations Revealed an event, which is going to be showcasing multiple reveals from multiple brands. Social media personality 
Trisha Hirschberger will once again host, at least that's what it appears, showcasing Barbie, Signature Collection, Hot Wheels Collector, Monster High Collectors, Mega Collections, Masters of the Universe Collectors, Uno Collectors, WWE Collectors, and the Little People Collectors. We're going to see a lot of great reveals on this event, guys, so don't miss out. This is going to be a lot of fun, and of course, we're finding out that the Spinning Secret powerful warrior joining the origins collection this is going to be great and in even more surprising news good friend of the channel master versal toy hunter posted these amazing images oh my gosh guys extendar yes extendar another master universe origins figure who was a, who was announced on san diego comic-con has been leaked everybody this is crazy extendar has been leaked into the public man this is exciting Eldor goes on to say that it looks like the upcoming Master Universe Extendar has been spotted online. It's all the way back with his reveal in San Diego Comic-Con 2023. Just as with most Mattel creation exclusive, we have an art depicted on the front of the card. So I wonder, again, with exclusives, will it see a full card art on the back with some arrangements which is yet to be revealed. But later in the afternoon, Eldor went, ahead, went and showcased that there is actual backing card art. And I want to take a deep dive into this, guys, because this is really, really exciting. Let's have a look here, guys. Holy crap, there he is is Extendar, Heroic Master of Extension. You can take that joke as far as you want, guys. Modern posing, retro play, new for 24. There he is in his plastic prison. Holy crap, he looks amazing. It's really interesting that his arms are already extended inside the packaging. I was wondering how they were going to do that. I thought they'd pack these ones separately, the little extensions, and, you know, put them in the back behind him. But they're showcasing the full extension, insert joke here, in his packaging design. We can see his leg extensions here at the bottom, but they are not attached to his legs. This is amazing seeing Extendar. Uh, I can't see his neck extension, but I'm pretty sure it's in there somewhere. This is awesome. He does come with a mini comic, as it appears back there. And his little red shield, which you can see in the corner over there. Sweet! Extendar, of course, is a wonderful addition to the Master Universe Origins collection, considering he was one of the original figures back in the 80s. And I can't wait until we find out what else comes with Extendar, if anything. But the backing card has been revealed already by Eldar. This is awesome. I love the depiction of Extendar here. It looks like he's actually battling the evil horde all by himself. Holy crap. Zooming in, we can see that they are in the Fright Zone. You can see the Fright Zone actually in the background. Oh my gosh, does this mean that we could possibly be getting the filmation version of the, ho of the, of the evil horde? What? That would be so amazing. Unfortunately, that's not exactly concrete evidence. But zooming down, we can see Extendar here, obviously extending himself. Again, that joke is going to keep going all day. He's literally holding his own in the Fright Zone, the original Fright Zone playset, against Grizzlor, Hordak, Leech, and Blast Attack. This is amazing, guys. I love the artwork. Not really sure who designed this. It could be Exa Jimenez, uh, or perhaps another wonderful artist from Mattel. I love the colors. I love the design. This is absolutely incredible. Wow. Extendar, everybody. Extendar is coming to the Master Universe Origins. We've known this for some time, but he's finally coming. Wonderful packaging, which can be replaceable and resealable. So this is incredible. Huge shout out to Mattel for making this happen. This is amazing, guys. Extendar is coming to the Master Universe Origins Collection, extending himself. <laughs> Oh, I just had to, guys. I'm sorry. And I can't wait until we get him into our collections very, very soon. Oh my gosh, guys. This is just crazy. Master Universe will just not go away because it is one of the greatest toy lines ever. And so many people are excited about this. I myself am kind of disappointed that, first of all, I'm in Canada, so trying to get any of these exclusives is going to be rare. But along with everybody else who tried to get them this morning, sold out in one minute absolutely crazy the bots were working overtime and it's pretty obvious that flipboard and his bot army were definitely behind this one and then of course we heard the announcement of the cyclone <laughs> tease it's got to be cyclone guys i mean who else could it be is going to be released during the revealed event for Mattel Creations. Trisha Hirschberger is going to be there, more than likely, hosting the entire event, and I can't wait to see what else is being revealed for all of the Mattel brands. It's going to be a lot of fun. But the big news today, of course, was Extendar. And I'm pretty much expecting that he's going to be a Mattel Creations exclusive, but it looks like they're really releasing these back to back to back, and it's kind of interesting how fast these are being released, but a lot of us have been wishing for that, so I guess you get what you wish for. So guys, are you excited about the Extendar being released in the Master Universe Origins line on MattelCreations.com? Are you excited for this brand new revealed event from Mattel, which is happening March 21st to the 22nd? 
What other reveals for other brands could we possibly be looking forward to? And were you totally shut out at Walmart CollectorCon? Or did you make like a thief in the night and actually picked up a few of these figures for your very own? Let me know those comments in the comment section below, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. And if you're in the position to help out the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do it without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. We have the power, everybody. We have the power. Walmart, you got to get that act together. And Mattel, keep bringing us great figures throughout 2024. Good journey. Geek Proud.